it's going to be pretty casual and it's going to be super direct. And at the end of it, if it doesn't go well, the person's going to look at you and go, sorry, didn't enjoy it. Have a nice life. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> from your country um, calls you yeah and she says like I'm coming to the Netherlands tomorrow I got to know someone on the internet we will have our first date can you give me some advice <laughs> some tips for uh, today at <laughs> for our first date yes many <laughs> many <laughs> Uh, do you have any experience with dating Dutch guys? I have a, I have a Dutch partner, so... <laughs> do you have any tips for dating Dutch people? I'm just, yeah, I'm just... I'm... I would be very interested in knowing this if you have any tips. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> yeah, don't think too highly of yourself. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's just first dates everywhere. <laughs> like, no one wants that. Don't, don't create much expectations. Yeah. Uh, because Dutch people in general, they are very practical, easy going. My boyfriend, he invited me on the first date to Febo. <laughs> <laughs> and after it I said, next time I prefer to eat in a poor wall restaurant. I would mm, probably do something like a walking date or something like that. If you feel like it, you can just drift off and, and jump into a bar and you're off to, off to the races in that regard as well. Uh, don't go to a fancy restaurant. J j j just tell your, your date, l l let's grab our bikes and go eat some ice cream. If the guy picks you up, probably it's on the back of his bike. <laughs> <laughs> also, Shopping. you'll probably take the bus or the tram yeah. or, you know, be comfortable on the back of a bike. Yes, be comfortable <laughs> on the back of a bike. That is a big one. Like, if he brings his bike, you better be comfortable with sitting on the back of it. <laughs> Work on your balance. <laughs> <laughs> My first advice is Take your wallets with you. You're gonna split the bill. Just yeah. You're, you're gonna, gonna split, split the, bill. the bill. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's gonna send you a ticky, or you're gonna split the bill. That's just gonna happen. It's it's called going Dutch for a reason, right? There's there's a reason it's known colloquially around the world as going Dutch. Don't expect to have your bill paid for you. Prepare your wallet and prepare to pay by uh, yourself. Uh, prepare to go for the Dutch way and don't get shocked. It's normal here. The echte Nederlander. Yeah, yeah. they will not pay. <laughs> yeah, they will not pay and you're gonna split. Or, stir, you, stir, yeah, and take it. Even if it was a guy going on a date with a Dutch girl, I would say the same thing to them. Like, don't expect that you can just stand up at the end of the date and be the hero and pay for everything. She's probably going to be sent, telling you to send her a tiki at the end of it. Like, for, for whatever she has. Right? Second advice I'll give her is to wear high heels. Because Dutch guys are too tall. <laughs> Really, I, w I would not advise her to wear high heels. Why not? Yeah, what if you have to cycle a long way in high heels? So what if you're, uh, you're walking somewhere? Yeah, it depends on where the date is. Don't wear heels, don't dress up. No one here wears lipstick. Don't think about that. Sneakers, you're fine. Wear sneakers and jeans and that's it. I guess don't expect him to dress up. Like, don't expect him to, you know, yeah. come out in finery with a nice shirt and, and, and a nice, nicely ironed pants. Like, expect him to turn up in a t-shirt, maybe a, a, a sweater and, and jeans and probably a pair of sneakers or Converse or something. The Dutch uniform. Yeah, the Dutch uniform, precisely, yeah. <laughs> in my limited experience, I don't think Dutch people uh, play this game of seducing someone. Uh, no, dinner table uh, with, uh, with uh, what's called candlelight. No, 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 rose petals. More, more, I don't... <laughs> doesn't I don't... sound Dutch. Yeah, yeah, yeah doesn't, doesn't sound, sound Dutch. Dutch. And when you're dating also, don't expect that, that a guy is a... will court you in some sense. Don't be so like expecting that a man will open the door for you, yes. the seat for you. Yeah, do yeah. everything for you because they don't do that. Yeah, yeah Just yeah. take a seat and yeah, yeah. So definitely don't don't, don't go to her door with a guitar and play what's called serenade. No, 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 no not, not with the Dutch. No, but before to get married, they usually date quite a lot of time. It never happens in uh, in three months. Like in Russia, you fell in love in three really? months. Really? Yeah, you can, I can already go and register this. It's what in three <laughs> months? Yes. People not follow the feelings. I wouldn't even say someone's my boyfriend after this. Yes. <laughs> what? And it's you, she also have to understand that Dutch people, they're very direct. So he can ask some 
direct question, not to offend her, but because just to get to know. Yes. Yeah, Dutch people are pretty blunt Open. because yeah, I've been asked some questions by Dutch people that even I was taken aback. I was on a date with the, my boyfriend. And when I think on the first date, he asked me like, "Okay, we are on the first date. What is the? Do you have a plan for a second date?" And on the second date, he asked me, "What is the plan for this relationship?" Like from the first day, they start asking like um, about your previous relationships mm-hmm. and your sexual life, or how many sexual partners have you had, which are things that we usually don't talk about in Nigeria, especially on the first date. Don't take it too personally. It's just to the point. <laughs> What did you answer? <laughs> I say that uh, I have to think about it. And on, on, on a third date, he already asked me for to make a plan. Like if he say, Kate, I really like you, but if you not <laughs> not sure in this relationship, let me know because I don't want to waste my time. So I think Dutch people pretty much talk about everything on the first date. I I like that people here are very down to earth and straightforward practical minded and it made me comfortable because you know you are like okay i know what the other person think and feel i have to open my cards and it's also make you more comf- comfortable because it could be like i don't want to continue it's also honest you know do do fool each other which which is good yeah I, it's I just like that good well. exactly they're not I, on the kind of italian french kind of latin lovers <laughs> yeah <laughs> In my experience, they'll just ne- they'll like stare at you, like you know, making that eye contact every now and then. You catch them looking at you, and you're kind of hoping they're gonna come up to you. They don't. And eventually, I started just going up to guys, which is very forward. They just don't do anything. <laughs> Or I, I'm the one who said I like you, I love you, <laughs> because they, they you know that. They, That person also like you or you know but they just don't say prepare to initiate the conversation rather than wait until the guy initiate the conversation because it tends to, it looks to me a lot of dutch guys are quite shy with starting a conversation I don't think so about that I don't I'm the type I don't believe that uh, Dutch is this way Dutch man is this way uh, uh, Finnish man is this way or something like that Yeah probably don't rely on stereotypes too much because you're probably going to be wrong. My colleagues and my friend, they say that, yeah, Dutch guy are like this, Dutch guy are like that, but so far, my boyfriend is just a normal man and romantic. In the end, there's no generalization. Yeah. You only can say from what you experience. So a tall guy with blonde hair and blue eyes, ugh, heaven. <laughs>